when a country undermines traditional marriage, it cannot print up enough money to take care of all the problems that happen in our society. And we need to no look no further than our welfare program and the black family in this country. Uh, prior to the Great Society programs of the 60s, the out of wedlock birth among black families was approximately, or was under 20%. Today, that in the inner city, the out of wedlock birth for black families is over 80%. And one of the primary reasons for that is we have developed government programs that will pick up the tab for having children out of wedlock. The result is we exploit our women, we create a bad situation for our children, especially minorities, and we tell men that they can uh, impregnate as many women as they want and, get, and the government will pick up the tab. I think we need to stop that philosophy, not expand it as the, uh, with the credit and the health insurance exchange. Thank you, Madam. Representative. The member from Olmsted, Representative Liebling. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think we're pretty far afield here from the bill and even from the amendment with some of the comments that have been made. But I just think it's really important at least to correct the record in one respect. First of all, in Minnesota right now, when people are on our Minnesota Family Investment Program, what a lot of people like to call welfare, and they have an additional child, they don't get any more money. They don't get any more money. And what they do get is very, very low. So we, do, we have a welfare program that does not incentivize anybody to be on welfare. No rational person would want to be on welfare with what they get here. And they certainly are not incentivized to have any additional children. 